some wildlife habitat known to Texas and New Mexico. But these creatures of the wild originated in the mountains of Northern Africa. They also have survived mountains and canyons. As we said, in Texas and New Mexico, dry southwestern United States. These Aldad, also known as Barbary sheep, live in the desert mountains from sea level up to the edge of the snows. These Barbary sheep are also well adapted to dry climate. They are able to survive long periods of time without fresh water by using metabolic water. These Barbary sheep, also known as Amotragus lovia, is a relatively large sheep. They mainly, the, the, the coat is brown, however, the shin, throat, chest, and insides of the front limbs are covered with long white hair. White hair is called the ventral mane. Also appears that the sheep had a beard. Sexual dimorphism is evident. Males can be up to 145 kilograms, while the females are much smaller. The largest are known to be up to 65 kilograms. Both males and females have horns that curve outwards, backwards and point inward towards the neck. Female horns are much smaller, but have the same shape. During the reproduction process, females will lick the sides of the prospective mate. The animals may touch muzzles. The male mounts the female and achieves copulation. And males defend the groups of females from the other males. Breeding typically occurs from September through November, but the timing can vary. Gestation lasts about 160 days, so most lambs are born between March and May. However, births have been seen as late as November. Most births produce a single offspring, but twins are born one out of every six or seven births. The timing of sexual maturity varies amongst males. Sperm were found in one male at 11 months. However, this is probably not the norm. Females are considered sexually mature at 19 months. However, females as young as 8 months of age have produced offspring. Males are typically the dominant sex and mainly because of the tremendous size and difference. And the barber sheep have very distinct threat posture and interspecific conflicts. They do turn their horns towards the animal in which they are in conflict. Aggressive behavior is not shown by two other acts. One is head on charge when two males charge at each other, making contact with the horns. Other type is aggressive behavior, similar to wrestling. A male butts the heads or hooks their horns and twists the male, gouging the movements. Females have been seen to fight, but it's very rarely performed on a head on charge. That's a little information on these Barbary sheep. Please join us again in the next adventure. David Hooper.